Nearly seven and a half million pounds of toxic chemicals were released into Ohio water, waterways in 2020. That's according to a new watchdog report. It's part of a problem impacting streams, rivers, and lakes across the country. News Center 7 Samantha Manning has been digging through the findings and joins us from D.C. with details about the health impact this can have on all of us. In many cases, we're talking about chemicals that can cause cancer and other serious health problems. The environmental groups behind this report are now calling on the federal government to step up its enforcement of current regulations and to strengthen them. It's been around 50 years since Congress passed the Federal Clean Water Act. The goal is to make our rivers, lakes and streams cleaner. But now a new watchdog report is revealing that despite those measures, more than 193 million pounds of toxic substances were dumped into U.S. waterways in 2020. Chemicals that cause cancer, reproductive problems like infertility or birth defects, developmental problems affecting the way kids learn, grow and behave. Um, this is just not acceptable. The report was released by Environment America Research and Policy Center, the U.S. Public Interest Research Group and Frontier Group. They're calling on the EPA and lawmakers to update pollution control standards. We have the tools. We know that Americans care, care deeply about clean water, and now it's time for action. The findings come as the Supreme Court this week looked at a case involving an Idaho couple who says they haven't been able to build on their property because of government restrictions on wetlands. Because this case is going to be important for wetlands throughout the country and we have to get it right. The case could limit federal regulations under the Clean Water Act. But I didn't see that as Congress's primary objective or even, you know, a main objective with respect to the Clean Water Act. And the report calls on federal and state officials to significantly cut down the allowed use of PFAS by manufacturers, often known as forever chemicals, to help clean up our waterways. In Washington, Samantha Manning, News Center 7.